Good afternoon. We've got some conditions that are looking nice and bright out there. I am just so happy to see this blue sky in Fargo and have some sunshine here. And other places in eastern North Dakota have gotten to enjoy sunshine. If you are in Minnesota, I'm sorry you're more on the mostly cloudy side, uh, but you may get a few breaks here and there. We'll take a look at that in a moment. It's nice to see the sun, but that comes with uh, a much colder air mass that has been taking over. Uh, it's nice to clear it out, though. It's been so foggy and, and cloudy lately. This was sent to us today. You could see the rime, the frost on these wheel rakes in the Edgley area. This is that area that's been having issues with power outages because, I mean, you start building that up more and more over days. It adds a lot of weight to those power lines and can cause some issues as they're seeing there. Thank you, Jean, for sharing that with us. You can upload your photos at valleynewslive.com or you could do that through your Valley News Live First Alert weather app as well. So radar showing most of the snow is taking a break. The heavier snow has moved on. And in fact, it never really quite reached us. We ended up on the lighter snow side in that one to two inch range for our viewers in the north, especially. And there are some places still getting some flakes. You can see up north, we've got some of that going on. I'll put this into motion here. Uh, and uh, some clearing again in the south, but some more clouds are dropping in into northeastern North Dakota. So this may not last all day long. In fact, Devil's Lake was sunny before, but now we're seeing those clouds. And that's all coming in. We've cleared out because it's a drier, colder air mass uh, that's starting to pump into the valley. We're seeing that first uh, wave of it. This will not be the worst of it, but it's definitely feeling pretty cold today compared to yesterday. And you can see all the way up in the Arctic in the northern part of Canada, where we've got 20s and 30s below. That air mass is coming our way. It does tend to moderate a little bit, but we are talking some temperatures not too far off from that for your morning lows coming up here in the next few days. Right now, we've cooled down significantly from yesterday. We're in the single digits to some teens. We're at 10 degrees right now in Fargo, eight in Grand Forks, and wind chills all below zero. Some of us have been down into that 20 below range since this morning, Devil's Lake 20 below right now, a wind chill of 10 below in Fargo. So don't let that sunshine fool you. You'll want to definitely put on that extra layer or two here today. That wind continues to gust out of the northwest. We have winds gusting into the low 30s. And where we've got that fresh snow, that's where we've seen some drifting still happening in spots and you know visibility down a bit in some of these areas. You can see Langdon. We're at a half mile right now. So it's not free and clear necessarily on those roadways. Some places are doing okay, but others still dealing with the after effects of the snow plus the wind that continues here. So here's a look at our hour by hour planner. Expect to have some more of those clouds start to move in. With that, the potential for a couple of flakes here as we continue on into the afternoon and into the evening hours. Temperatures don't really go anywhere. We'll stay in the single digits to around 10 degrees here today. And then heading into tonight, you can see that northwesterly wind still going. And so tomorrow morning, that will just continue to surge in and keep our temperatures low. And we'll start the day uh, near zero. Some of us below some of us above not too bad for early february but definitely colder than yesterday and uh, this is just the first round of it more is going to push in and that combined with some wind is going to lead to some dangerous wind chills we have a wind chill watch you probably have been seeing it scrolling at the bottom of your screen and look how long this lasts it starts friday in the second half of the day and last through tuesday we're talking wind chills 40 to 50 below potentially during this time and you could see in our seven day planners we head into the weekend we're looking at some of our coldest temperatures of the season. It's definitely going to be a cold one, but we want to also make sure that we're just dressing properly. We can't stress that enough because you don't want frostbite or hypothermia. Thanks again, Lisa.